Rewind! Previously on... Nine. Door. Nine! Last time, Junpei Jun, Santa and Seven went to door number three. Only to find a dismantled body of Snake who was in there. They got there because Junpei decided to act out of love. And he decided to play the rules on his fellow companions. And said, whoever of you wants to come with me to door number three, you're welcome to. And they fell for the rules and followed him in. Eventually, we find that Snake's dead. June freaks out, Jupe calms her down. And then we learn a scene about them in elementary school. So we figure out the puzzle, we get some key cards, and we leave the place. And then we find a map of Sea Deck, which was very valuable because it's the floor that we were on. And then we find Lotus and Clover, enraged. Jupe gets the shit slapped out of him, then gets strangled. The rest of the party checks out, the snake's dead. And now, we go back. Hey, what up guys, it's your boy Amir, you already know. Last time, we left off here, trying to figure out what the fuck we're gonna do. Uh, yes. I did the whole rewind shit, and now we're over here, uh, trying to see which way we're gonna go. I already showed door number three, that's shown, that's passed. Everything, it's good. I don't have to do that part anymore, and I'm glad. So anyway, what's next is the next ending, which I find pretty pointless. But anyway, let's continue. So, in order to get this ending, we need to go to door number 7. Uh, there are several ways to go through this, like you go to door number 476, 486, or if you want to get this ending, 576, which is the path we chose, 576. So anyway, here we are. I'm gonna go to door number 7, okay, we, got, we know this, we know this, we know this. We've seen this countless times before, three times as a matter of fact. Uh, Let's move on. Yada yada yada. So we're going with seven and we're going with clover. Yeah, so we gotta look for the RED. It happens to be right there. Effortless. Ha 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 Okay. This is when we go into the hospital room, isn't it? Is it? Operating. Okay. Yes, this is the hospital. Oh my god. It's so creepy. Why am I so creeped out by this? It's like, I know I know what happens in the game, but the more I play through it, the more I get fucking creeped. It doesn't help that I'm playing this shit at this time, either. Okay, so we know what we knows what's happening here, guys. Let's, let's do this shit fast, guys, alright? Let's fucking plow through this shit. Okay, we're out. Okay, yeah, it was Clover, that's... Uh... Well, I don't know what that was all about. Not really. You found it. Okay. Yeah, this is where we meet up with the party again. Skip, skip, skip. Fun stuff, isn't it? Uh, oops, I think I hit the mic. I don't know. It's a headset. I don't know if I'm hitting it or not, so whatever. So we found... Okay. Man, this is... 
This must be so boring. I can't believe I'm wasting an episode like this. I, should I just like cut these parts out? Like I don't understand. Like what else? Because I know people will be like, "Hey, I want to know what happened there." But all I'm doing is just fast forwarding, pretty much, essentially. So like, what the fuck? Of course there's a reason. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I hate the song, it's so creepy. And to make matters shorter, I'm gonna click on this because it would make more sense. And we can't leave June alone or else she'll piss her pants. Okay, you brace yourself. Brace yourself, there's a uh, number two door over here. No, number six door, sorry. I think it's. Oh my god, please, why does this almost give me a heart attack every time? It's like playing with, it's like gambling with death. Like seriously, what the fuck? This should never happen in the body. Like I wish we could, dude, I wish we could play games and like, I wish we didn't have a heart to like, like, you know, I, I just wish no one had heart problems. Like seriously, because I would love to play games without having heart attacks. We find out Snake's dead. That's what this part is for, the screwdriver. And boom, and man, I didn't want to see this place ever fucking again, but I don't know to uh... Oh no, not the ghostly mode. Not the ghostly mode. Please. Not the ghostly mode. I am skipping I'm totally skipping this. Totally. Nothing important. Nothing important is going on. Junpei, of course. Of course he was on the ship with us. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's possible. Let's not insult her. Let's not get her fucking mad. We get her mad. We don't want her to. She's already pissed. Oh no, she's not. Not yet. I mean, she isn't pissed anymore because the we're not in door three anymore. Hooray! Okay, good. Now we won't get axed. Well, we don't know that. Let's get moving. Okay, we open this door up, blah blah blah. We're gonna make our decision pretty soon. Doors uh two six and door one. Yeah yeah yeah. Old lady, you exhibitionist grandma! Old lady! So which do we want guys? Guys, I'm gonna save real quick. I'm gonna put it over six, but I'm gonna save. Be right back. Guys and I'm back. Are you guys ready for this ending? Or rather this path. The ending doesn't come up for a while. So are you guys ready for this path? Let's go. I want to go through door number six. Junpei flipped open a piece of paper. It read Junpei, door six. Of course it did. He'd written it after all. That's a problem. Jun spilled, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. We can skip this part. Clover and I want this. We want this. And we got this, we want this, blah blah blah. Damn, what are we gonna do now? Let's the code book of silence. Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one? Important guys, pay attention to this. Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? Do not miss this piece of information. Important to know where Clover goes. Why do Seven and I go through door one with me? Her face was cold and flat as was her voice, but her logic was sound. Remember last time she killed off, um, well of course Junpei, June, Seven, and Santa. Those are the people she killed last time. Keep mental note of that. And the people are going through each room because this is very important right now. Okay, Seven and Lotus looked at each other. Seven plus four plus eight equals nineteen, and that's as one digit root. Problem resolved, Ace spoke up. What about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams that's complained I didn't have a one? You mean I should join Santa's team? So Santa's team consists of... Oh well, hold on, we'll, we'll see in a, minute, in a minute. Clover nodded and her face still cold and emotionless. Her attitude and posture could not have been more different than the energetic girl of only a few hours before. No one seemed ready to con contradict her. Yeah, it's good they shouldn't. <laughs> or else they get a fucking axe in their back. Okay, her response was understandable, given the horrible situation in which she had found herself, but even so, I understand. I will go through door 6 then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass to another door. 
No one will be left behind. Damn right no one's gonna be left fucking behind. Child care program, nigga. <laughs> no child left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Yes. Okay, uh, Seven Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. Alright then, we're good to go. Wait, I'm not, I'm not voice acting, what the fuck? Oh, you just fucked up! At last, Junpei and the other six had managed to separate themselves into two teams. <coughs> Clear your throat. <coughs> Clover, Seven, and Lotus headed to A deck, where door one was near the main staircase. Junpei, Jun, Ace, and Santa, however, took the elevator to E deck. <coughs> the ride to E deck was a silent one. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go, why not? <clears throat> Santa's words jolted them to action and they stepped out of the elevator into a long straight hallway. Anyway guys, I'm gonna pause right here before we go into door number six. So don't miss the next exciting episode of 999. See y'all later.